All right, so I'm going to go through a quick setup on how to automate your trading using your trading view charts with a Chrome extension. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do is get the extension, which is for Google Chrome, so Google Web Store. Go to the web store and you're going to look up the name of the extension is auto view so auto view search it um, already obviously added to mine but this you're also going to need to look at the syntax and stuff for this which i'll bring up later get it open now um, so once you add it or buy it and add it to chrome then you're going to end up going to your extensions From here you'll find the auto view, you're going to want to click on options, which will bring you to the, the options tab where you'll add your exchanges, right now it's only OKCoin, okay so put in your API keys, you'll have to give permission to the extension to communicate with OKCoin. Okay um, once you do that, that's all you're going to need to set up for the extension itself, everything else is done in trading view. So we'll close that, we'll leave that open, don't need this anymore. So from here. We're going to start a new chart, and we're actually going to build a quick logic, backtest it, and automate it. Hopefully within 12 minutes I've got left here. So, one minute Forex strategy. So, I'm going to pick this one. This was the first one only three lines crossing so you've got your rules five position where to put your stop loss and to exit the trade for 10 sorry, 9 to 15 pips okay so we take that strategy we go to our new chart actually before we code this we might as well get it up on the chart we need a moving average Moving average, we need two, one of these, and exponential times two. Okay, so the MA was a 55. Alright, now that we've got those, what we need to do is create the strategy so it does the stuff we need it to do for the strategy tester, the back testing. So we're going to create a new script here. First thing we need to do is make sure it's a strategy. We will call this my strategy. No, we'll call this the one minute for X. My one minute for X. Um, first thing we need to add are the actual MA, EMA, the stuff we just added to the chart. We actually have to code that ourselves quick and easy because of Pine. It's all already built in. So we've got a 12 period EMA. Change to a simple moving average. Uh, we'll call that one B and this one C. Okay, so those are the three indicators now built in. We've got to build our logic. We are going to be longing when it crosses A and C, and it's already crossed. A's already crossed C. Right, greater than, yeah, this is long greater than. So now we need, actually, I don't need to call it anything, no rules right now because we're not plotting it. So that is that. Short is essentially the same thing except we're going in the opposite direction here. So our short. Alright, we've got our short. We don't need to plot them. What we need to do is enter. So strategy.
strategy entry. This is actually going to put it on the chart as a buy for the back testing. Call this one long. Uh, what else do we want to do? We need to tell it this is a long. And we need to tell it when. And it is going to place a long signal in our long. Now, strategy enter. Going to do the same thing again for our short. Now, that being said, we've got our long entry, which is on cross of EMA 12 and crossing the 55, and it's already crossed a B. So let's save this. All right. Um, add it to the chart. You've got your performance summary, net profit, etc. Overall, here's how it did. Um, this so far, given the logic, is simply close the long when you see a short. Close the short when you see a long. If you want to add take profit, stop loss, trailing stop, that can all be done in the quick little lines of code. I'll, I'll just pull them up as well. When I put this strategy or publish the strategy, it'll have take profit, stop loss. And then when you do, what you can sit up here, you'll have the inputs I add, and you'll be able to go through them and just click up and down on the numbers, and you'll see how the trade and how it acts differently, plotting all the different, each one minute at a time. Um, this back testing that trading you've done is is amazing and it's only in beta I cannot elaborate how awesome this thing is um, so yeah there's your strategy the next step now if we actually want to automate this strategy as is we would probably not given the percentile of wins we definitely want to clean this up a little bit give our own thing but then again we are taking the strategy directly off of oh no they do recommend 15 so we will add our uh, take profit and stuff but for now, we are just going to copy this code and create a new blank script. And paste this on here. This time it is a study as we're creating the custom indicators for our alerts. We don't need a strategy here, we need a plot. Uh, so the plot on long, we are going to actually just plot long this right here we're going to plot that call it long pretty simple here we just need to tell it what color we want it so i want long on green and a line with one was a new chart so we'll see that I get my one whereas this is not one we'll call this alerts okay this one before I plot it on the chart I don't actually want it on the chart so we get to say overlay false and it'll actually put it on the bottom at the chart so see here we are now we've got this is where our long is going to be and this is where our shorts will be so the small fake out short long and short so now you can simply make some alerts create a new alert here and we are going to be going off of my one min 4x so my one min 4x when long is greater than 0.99 we're going to want this to happen on the close of the candle pop up play sound I'm just going to create that right now so you see that alarm will go off whenever the green triggers it and that's when we want to place along so now what we do is 
remember the syntax I cut and paste from the app store there or if you go visit the app um, I'll provide this link as well here's the syntax that you need to put into the alerts so I'm just gonna open that up open notepad here and do a quick long so we want to open a long we want to open a long the book um, we are going to want to cancel some of the lines so our long is going to be leverage 20 um, I believe you're going to want to get rid of the status that's more than I have it so we need long 20 price what this does is it uses the extension uses the top price of the book you're placing it in so if I wanted to undercut the top of the book by 10 cents I would type minus 10 oh see I just got an alert there for my trade so you'll see here is actually of course I can't paste that the syntax of placing so what it did here it was a cell it closed my opens and then it reshorted a limit right at the top price 21 then it did a position close of a long which was a limit order 20 so this single single alert right now what it did was it closed my long position if I was in one placed the short and canceled any open orders that I had so we'll shoot over to okay coins so I didn't have any longs if I did it would have closed them nope we've just been doing shorts so it's opened another short added to this one there we go 10 we filled oh got another one right on so that's the current strategy that's how it works it um, actually it's really nice that we just got that alert I'm not sure I need to even go as far as actually writing one but we can do it quick um, my recommendation is you're gonna want to leave this open and get your notepad and you go from there you can do as many lines per alert as you want but they have to be separate lines per um, cancel close open right so if you wanted to cancel uh, your orders just cancel order this will just cancel them all so that's your first line then you do a line break come down you've opened your long um, and just open it at the top price with a limit order um, if you wanted to do market you don't really need this you could just do T equals market it'll do a market open for you um, what else do we need here quantity so quantity I just want to do one contract the order type I did that the exchange which is optional but let's say I did want to use the OK coin one week chart but place my orders on the quarterly right I would just OK coin and call the symbol of Bitcoin USD three months and now it'll ignore whatever chart that you're on so there's another signal for me something's happening over here so the last one I haven't filled yet and I should have another one here and there it is um, don't need this anymore. Back to this. So essentially, that's your order. Then, if you want it, because you're opening a long, let's say you want to also close your positions, you would close shorts that are times 20. Um, quantity here, if you want to close the whole order, um, you can see better on this what can be done. We'll be adding comments and continuously updating this as people learn to use it, have questions, etc. So that all being said, I guess I'm going to end the video here. Um, I've been spending all kinds of time working on strategies and stuff, almost addicted to the backtesting system in trading view. So if anyone hasn't, you can send them a support request to get into the beta. Um, it's well worth it. Especially if you're going to be using this extension, you're going to want to make sure that the logic you're putting in as you are automating it is um, a good one. The one I'm currently running is not very good. It's got about a 60% ratio, but it just kind of loads it up. It just, uh, I mean, I'm testing the, the, this extension out myself. I'm running it through the ringer. And so far, it has actually done pretty well on the OKCoin okay account. I've been running it about 24 hours on one contract. It's went down a little bit and a pretty shitty one right now. But we'll see. Um, good luck. If anyone has any questions, hunt me down and I will do my best to answer them.